Today I'm sharing with you two ideas for basket weave cakes. One has silk flowers, one has buttercream, one is made with a star tip, and one is made with a round tip. I'm going to show you how to do the one with the star tip. So stay tuned. We're starting with a crumb coated cake and I've got some fresh buttercream here. I'm going to take the buttercream and pop it in the microwave to get it a little smoother. And if you're struggling with buttercream, click on the link below the video and go to my website. Click on the directory, click on the buttercream guide, and you'll see the trailer. This is a low cost mini course. It's going to answer all your questions. The products on my website are what help keep this channel going, so I would really appreciate your patronage. Now fill your pastry bag about halfway full with a star tip. And you want to get some of the air bubbles out, so you squeeze some of that buttercream out first. And you're going to start by going straight up vertically. You're going to make a line up. And then you're going to have lines going horizontally across that line. Now there is a little trick here that you might want to use to keep the lines straight. It's a Wilton comb and you can use that to mark the cake. Once you have the horizontal lines on there, you can just use that same tool to mark the vertical line. Just squeeze the buttercream out and then release the pressure at the top. Same thing, go across horizontally now. Squeeze, touch the cake, bring the buttercream over that line and then touch the cake and release. You'll want to space these horizontal lines just enough to fit the tip in between. And the line that's going to go up now is going to cover the edges of the previous horizontal lines. This gives an illusion that the buttercream is actually going underneath and over and it's just an illusion of course, as you know, but it looks very cool. Okay, I have a little confession. I ran out of time, so I used silk flowers versus buttercream. I started piping with the green buttercream for the leaves, so that's fine. And then I'm just gonna put the silk flowers right on there. Silk flowers make a really nice alternative, and they look gorgeous. This particular one is done with a round tip. It's the same exact technique, just done with a round tip. And I'll link to my buttercream flowers so you can see how to make the roses that I made on this cake here. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. This is my chocolate buttermilk cake with chocolate mousse and buttercream. This is my white chocolate raspberry supreme cake, orange butter cake with raspberries and white chocolate. These cakes are featured in this video, but I also use them for a sampling for the bride and groom. Get this book. When it came to the Life Step by Step, it's a recipe book with a how-to on how to make tear cakes. It's on Amazon and you're going to love it.